astronomers got the shot of a lifetime last night when something impacted the planet of Jupiter. The fireball was only visible for about two seconds, if that, but astronomers say it is significant. Heather gave it the fireworks ooh and ah when she saw it. Yes, I time. did. Fox Worth Brandon Todd talked with a Dallas man who was lucky enough to get that impact on video. All right, how did that happen? How was he rolling on that, Brandon? Yeah, exactly. George Hall tells me that when he looks through his telescope in the middle of the city of Dallas, it's not really the best place to get a good, clear image of the sky. But yesterday morning, he was rolling video and looking through the telescope and caught an image that has the astronomy world buzzing. George Hall has had his high-powered telescope for nearly a decade, but his discovery yesterday morning of a huge explosion on the surface of Jupiter is not only the most significant thing he's seen, it's made him an overnight celebrity in the world of amateur astronomy. The explosion is seen on the left side of the planet in the video that he shot there. It looks kind of like a white flare. Another man, Dan Peterson, up in Wisconsin, was the first one to see the explosion, but George has the only known video proof of the event, so he posted it online. Amateur astronomers around the world were all exchanging emails about this. I, my website overnight hit, had like 50,000 hits, you know, from people looking at this. And, and this, this morning I posted a little video of it on Flickr, and I noticed a while ago it had like 75,000 hits on it. So there's a lot of interest. All right, so Stephen, Heather, the one question that I had was when you consider the size of Jupiter and you see that little white flash, you know, how big was the white flash? And, and kind of compare that and get a comparable size to it. Well, George actually got an answer from an astronomer expert today, astronomy expert today. And here it is. You ready? Yes. Mm -hmm. The size of that flash is 1.5 times 10 to the 14th joule. Mm. It's a big number. Oh, yeah. well, there you go. It's a big number. Okay. Yeah. So you know, I'm, I'm imagining that size is pretty rare. This type of thing, Brandon, doesn't, doesn't happen a lot because, yeah, everybody's all on Twitter and talking about it. Right. No, yeah, you're right. It is rare, and it's especially rare to catch a photograph of it or especially video of it. And uh, we talked to an astronomer today, Don Garland, over in Fort Worth. He said that after a, uh, a few years ago, there was a Jupiter, uh, an explosion on Jupiter called Shoemaker-Levy 9. That was back in 1994. Well, ever since then, Who doesn't a lot of that? people, amateur astronomers, that? Yeah, have been looking at Jupiter. Everybody, it's kind of they're always kind of keeping their eye on Jupiter to see more of these explosions, and more and more of them are coming up. People getting more shots of them. So, hey, Brad, one other thing I thought was interesting: these guys say that Jupiter is kind of our buffer a lot of times. Things Jupiter protects the Earth in a lot of capacities, right? Right. And everybody remembers from their science class probably that Jupiter, since it's so large, uh -huh. has a, a a large or high gravitational pull. Right. So it sucks in, it's kind of like a, a big space vacuum is the way it was described today. It sucks in a lot of these meteorites and comets that otherwise would uh, pass by or, you know, possibly hit the planet Earth. So. Well, good. Thank a goodness for that big space vacuum. <laughs> That's right. Who doesn't love science in the news at nine? Thank you. Brandon. Like it when right. it's put like that. Imagine tonight. a big space vacuum. can understand it. Brandon, thank you. <laughs>